Welcome back to Amped Tutorials. In this video, we're going to be doing the part two of our annotation tutorial. Okay, so in part two of the annotations tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through how to create annotations on a single frame of a video or on a single image. So we're just going to be doing annotations on something static for this uh, part two of the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do annotations as if I'm sending out a infographic trying to get information on a couple of suspects. So something quite common that police forces will do is create uh, images from videos asking the public for information on people and if people recognize them. So first I'm just going to find a, a frame of this video that's appropriate. Now, one thing we'll note in this video, which I'm using, is there isn't a single frame where we can see both suspects' faces in that one frame. So within the annotations, if you remember from part one, there was uh, the image annotation where I can bring in a saved image uh, onto my frame. So I will have to do that for this so that I can get both of their faces onto one image. But I need to find a good frame of suspect two in the black coat where we can see his face. Okay, so I'm going to use this frame here. So before I actually apply the annotations, I'm just going to single select this individual frame. And I'm just going to rename my chain as the main image. Okay, so I've decided on the frame I'm going to use. So now we're going to go to our annotations filter. So remember that's found under presentation, annotate. And I'm going to decide on a couple of annotations I want to do for this. Now, the first and the most common that we're probably going to use when we're doing something like an infographic is um, using the magnify. So I'm going to use the magnify tool here and I'm just going to place it in the top left so remember, I select magnify, I click and drag to make my magnified zone. And then this blue dot in the middle is what I can move and place it onto whatever I want to be magnified. So I'm going to move this over the individual's face. Remember, whenever we choose one of our annotations, we get the filter settings, uh, the annotate settings for that. So here I am going to give it a border. Now I could choose to do sort of like a, a pointer to zoom. Um, but for this, because I'm going to have two images of two suspects, I'm just going to do the shape only. And I'm going to give this a border color. And so I've set the first one up here. Maybe I'll just make that border a little bit thicker. Now in this video, it's very clear who this uh, enlarged image is of in our image here because we've only got two suspects and it's very obvious who we're enlarging here but in some situations think of like train stations where you've got lots of people or airports where you've got lots of people moving around it can be quite difficult to see who's actually being magnified now in them situations what I like to do is just do an arrow with the same color as the border that I've created around the magnified. So for this, I'm going to go to the arrow. I'm going to change the same, choose the same orange color. And I'm just going to place that arrow above its head and increase the thickness of it. So if you are either doing annotations and you're trying to magnify a certain person, but it's quite hard to see who they were in the original, this is just something quick that you can do just to sort of color coordinate and make it quite obvious. The next thing I want to do then is get the uh, image of suspect one's face onto here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a new chain for this. So I'm just going to copy my video loader by dragging and dropping it below. I'm going to find a frame in the video where I can see his face. So 
let's choose this one. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to go to Presentation, Annotate. And again, I'm going to do the Magnify, just like before. And Magnify this guy. This time, I'm going to give him a different color. We'll go for green. And again, I'm going to use the border type shape only. So there, I made, I did my magnify. I created my selection again. I moved my blue dot. And then I changed the border color and the border thickness. And the reason why I'm doing this is because on my main image, I want to bring this image into that. So I'm going to here. Now I'm just going to crop this out now that we've done this. So I'm just going to go to edit crop. And I'm just going to crop this out. And now with this, what I can do is I can write this out as an image. And then I can go back to my annotate on my main annotations that I was doing. And I can use the image annotation to bring that image into this image now. So I'm going to find that file I just created. And I can just bring that straight in. Like so. And now we've got this green colored border. So I'm just going to create an arrow, another arrow, and just change it to green. So if you do ever have a video where you've got lots of movement or an image where you've got lots of people and it's quite hard to uh, differentiate between people, this is just a quick thing you can do to make it quite obvious who's been enlarged. So the next thing I need to do to this then is just add some text to this. So I've gone to my text annotation and I'm just gonna make a rough box now. And then I'm just gonna put information wanted, call random number. And again, we need to use the settings under text to um, customize it. So I'm going to give it a background color and a border color. And I'm just going to make the border black. And then I can just size the size, adjust the size of it. And then finally, the last thing that I want to do in this then would be to hide any confidential uh, information. So where I've placed my magnifies has covered some of them up, some of the vehicle VRNs, but we can still see a vehicle VRN here. So I'm going to cover this up using my hide annotation. And again, just select hide, click and drag. And then I can change the strength of this just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then if there was a few more that I needed to do, I could just also do it on there. So it really doesn't take too long to use the annotations to annotate a single image. I just wanted to show you an example and a few tricks like where you have a second chain and you create an image from that second chain and then you can bring it on into your mainframe. So just a couple of tricks there that you can use for the future. So I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, make sure you uh, ask them in the comments or you can write to us at support. Thank you and take care.